Hey guys, here I am with another exciting video with exciting news. The new games dropping in 2022 and beyond is pretty staggering. And with the E3 2022 schedule looking set to drop some more reveals and announcements. The list is going to get a lot busier in the coming months. We are already blessed with some top-notch upcoming games. With plenty of release this year alone coming to PS5, Xbox Series X, S, PC and Switch. The list brings together a pick of the most exciting new games on the horizon that you should have on your radar. Before we go ahead, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next video. So get ready as we take you through all of the new games for 2022 and beyond to get excited about across every platform. From the team that brought us Friday the 13th, the game comes Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. It's another asymmetric multiplayer title where four players team up to play as the titular Ghostbusters and the one other player becomes a variety of ghosts. With levels set up across different locals like libraries and hotels, the Ghostbusters must work together to hunt down and trap the ghost, while the ghost player must use all the spirity powers in their arsenal to slow them down and then escape. And yes, that includes slime. The platform this game is to be released on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, PC, Xbox One, and it is expected to be released in 2022, no confirmed date is announced yet. Sea of Thieves isn't the only open world pirate game out there. Ubisoft Skull and Bones is also setting sail, with a much more realistic take on pirate battles on the high seas. Skull and Bones is basically Assassin's Creed Black Flag without the assassins, and it's being developed by much of the same team behind Black Flag, and promises a sweeping solo camping for control over the 18th century waters in the Indian Ocean. But the real focus looks to be player versus player ship skirmishes online, where each player controls their very own warship in team-based fleet battles. There will also be supernatural elements amidst all the cannon fire, like the colossal tentacles of a terrifying kraken lurking in the deep. The platform this game is to be released on PC, Xbox One, PS4 and it is expected to be released in 2022, no confirmed date is announced yet. A Plague Tale Requiem is the surprise sequel to the original game A Plague Tale Innocence that released in 2019. You will be following the same two heroes, Amicia and a younger brother Hugo who will have to do whatever it takes to survive in the game's brutal world. Rats will still be a huge problem, but there is more here than just a literal sea of rats to be worried about. The platform this game is to be released on PS5, Xbox Series X, PC, Nintendo, Switch and it is expected to be released in 2022, no confirmed date is announced yet. During the Game Awards 2021, Remedy officially revealed our first glimpse of the much hoped for sequel, Alan Wake 2. While we didn't get to see all that much of Wake's return other than a very gruesome crime scene and flashes of the protagonist standing in changing environment, creative director Sam Lake did confirm it will be Remedy's first ever survival horror game. We are sure to see more of the games in summer 2022. The platform this game is to be released on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, PC and it is expected to be released in 2022, no confirmed date is announced yet. The Dinosaur Hunting PC hit his back with a bigger Bolzier sequel that features none other than Vin Diesel both in front and behind of the digital camera. Yep, the Fast and Furious star is not only playing a key character in the next-gen survival game, but he is joined series developer Wildcraft as an executive producer, having long been a fan of the original game, goodness knows what that means for the final product. Perhaps the dinosaurs were a part of our family all along. The platform this game is to be released on PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, S, and it is expected to be released in 2022, no confirmed date is announced yet. The long-awaited Aftar, now officially called Aftar Frontiers of Pandora, finally got revealed at E3 2021. And it's in development at Massive Entertainment in collaboration with Lightstorm Entertainment and Disney. The game will be a new standalone story where you play as a Navi and journey across the western frontier, which is a brand new part of Pandora not seen in any media before. This is a first-person action-adventure title with a living and reactive world that's fighting against the formidable RDA forces. The platform this game is to be released on PS5, Xbox Series X, PC, Stadia, Luna and it is expected to be released in 2022. No confirmed date is announced yet. Thank you Nintendo, first you made Bayonetta 2 possible by bankrolling a Wii U sequel. And now you are giving Platinum fans more of their favorite bullet blasting with
platform this game is to be released on Switch, the release date is not yet announced. Contraband is a brand new co-op game coming from Avalanche Studio, the team behind Just Cause. It's set in the fictional world of 1970s Bayan and will be quite the smuggler's paradise. Not much is known about the game yet, but the studio says it is pushing the boundaries with the next generation of its Apex engine for the title. The platform this game is to be released on Xbox Series X, PC and it is expected to be released in 2022. No confirmed date is announced yet. Officially confirmed at BlizzCon 2019, Diablo 4 is set to take us to hell and back with what looks like a devilishly good sequel filled with dungeon crawling goodness. Set in the world of Century, you will battle against the burning hells in an always online experience that will enable you to fight alongside other adventurers. So far we know of the three classes you will be able to choose from including Druid, Sorcerer and Barbarian. Oh, and remember Lilith from Diablo 2. Well, she is returning in the fourth installment and from the sounds of it, she will be causing some troubles for us as one of the game's main antagonists. Her return ushers in an age of darkness, of misery, so you better prepare yourself. The platforms are not announced till yet, same with the release date yet to be announced. The next major project from Bioware after the disastrous anthem, Dragon Age 4 will continue the story left off by 2014's Dragon Age Inquisition, positioning former companion Solas as the upcoming RPG's central antagonist. We know little else about the game beyond this, but you can expect plenty of tactical combat, NPC chatter and yes, dragon hunting. The platform this game is to be released on is not yet announced and also no confirmed date is announced yet. This is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do like, comment and share. Also don't forget to subscribe for future videos. See you in the next video.